How do I restore my iTunes library data? Are you wondering how to bring back your iTunes library data? Whether you lost it due to a computer crash or just need to transfer it to a new device, restoring your iTunes library is straightforward. Let's break it down step by step so you can get back to enjoying your music and playlists. First, you need to locate your iTunes library backup or media files. Check your computer's internal drive or any external drives you might have used for backups. The key files you are looking for include the iTunes library, ITL file, which holds your library database, and the iTunes media folder that contains your actual media files. If you have the complete iTunes library folder, the next step is to copy it. Transfer the entire iTunes folder from your backup or external drive to your preferred location on your computer, usually in the music folder. Make sure this folder includes both the iTunes library, ITL, file, and the iTunes media folder. Now it's time to open iTunes with your restored library. To do this, hold down the shift key while launching iTunes. This action will prompt you to choose a library. Select Choose Library and navigate to where you place the restored iTunes library, it'll fail. Opening this file will load your previous library, playlists, and metadata. But what if the iTunes library, it'll fail is missing? No worries. If you still have the media files organized in the iTunes media folder, you can create a new library. Open iTunes and use the Shift Start method again. Then, go to the menu option file, select library, and click on add folder to library. Choose your iTunes media folder to import all your media files into iTunes. Keep in mind that playlists and some metadata may not be restored, so you might see some files labeled as unknown artist or unknown album. Before importing, it's a good idea to check your iTunes preferences. Go to edit, then preferences, and click on advanced. If your media files are not organized in the standard iTunes folder structure, consider disabling Keep iTunes Media Folder Organized temporarily. This step helps prevent iTunes from moving files around during the import process. If you are restoring from a backup using File Explorer, start by quitting iTunes. Use File Explorer to drag the entire iTunes folder from your backup location into your music folder or your preferred location on your computer. After that, relaunch iTunes while holding the Shift key and point it to the restored library file. Lastly, if you have important playlists or metadata, restoring the iTunes library. It'll file is essential. If you only have media files, you can rebuild your library by importing them, but remember that playlists will not be recovered. Regularly backing up your iTunes folder including both the library file and media folder, makes future restorations much easier. By following these steps, you can successfully restore your iTunes library data on a Windows computer, whether by loading an existing library file or importing media files into a new library. Enjoy your music once again.